woman who is a little more descriptive about herself. Husband wanted by a lady who can wash, cook, scour, sew, milk, spin, weave, hoe, camp plow, cut wood, make fires, feed the pigs, raise the chickens, rock the cradle, saw a plank, drive a nail, etc. Can read, and as you can see, she can write. Can paint roses, butterflies, etc. Could once dance. <laughs> Can ride a horse, donkey, oxen, and other things too numerous to mention. Can she scold, you ask? No, she can't, you good-for-nothing scoundrel. <laughs> now for her terms. Her age is none of your business. <laughs> she is neither handsome nor a fright, yet an old man need not apply, nor any who has not a little more education than she has and a great deal more gold for there must be $20,000 settled on her before she will bind herself to perform all of the above. <laughs> well, apparently not all the people who advertised in the matrimonial news were quite as forthcoming as she was because the newspaper was forced to run this disclaimer. <laughs> Notice, due to the influx of Eastern mail-order brides into our community and hasty marriages that follow, Several complaints have been lodged by no longer happy grooms. <laughs> Therefore, let it be known that any marriage into which a man is seduced by the use of false hair, cosmetic paints, artificial bosoms, bolstered hips, padded limbs, without the man's knowledge shall stand no and void if he so desires, Judge John Doe, by the April 3rd, 1853. Do not be deceived. <laughs> More than 2,600 marriages came about thanks to the matrimonial news, and most of them lasted a lifetime. <laughs> My name it is Joe Bowers, I got a brother, I, I come from old Missouri, yes, all the way from Pike, I'll tell you why I left there and how I came to Rome, and leave my poor old mammy so far away from home. I used to love a gal there, they called her Sally Black, I asked her for to marry me, she says it was a whack. She says to me, Joe Bowers, before we hitch for life, you order have a little home to keep your little wife. Says I, my dearest Sally, oh Sally, for your sake, I'll go to California and try to raise a state. She says to me, Joe Bowers, for oh, you're the chap to win. Give me a bus to seal the bargain, and she threw a dozen in. I shall ne'er forget my feelings when I bid adieu to all. Sally so caught me round the neck, and then I began to bawl. When I saw it, and they all commenced, you ne'er did hear the like. How they all took on and cried the day I left old Pike. When I got to this air country, I hadn't nary a rid. I had such wolfish feelings, I wished myself most dead. But the thoughts of my dear Sally soon made them feelings good. And whispered hopes to Bowers, Lord, I wish I had a mid. At length I went to mine and put in my biggest licks. Come down upon the bow 